things that we must not take for granted in this sector is having academic leaders who are themselves academics. Increasingly around the world, that's not the case. And so we, we really appreciate the fact that we have academic leaders in, in our system. My next privilege is to ask the chairperson of Haltasa to come and welcome us. University. We would like to thank Rhodes University, the BC, the DBC for Teaching and Learning, who is here as well, uh, for hosting us and for the Churchill team for all the hard work and commitment that goes into making this conference a conducive space for 300 odd delegates from Southern Africa and beyond to come together and to engage on all matters teaching and learning. I think in the VC's well note, and as Sue alluded to, there is a call, a call to action. It is indeed his prerogative and job to signal for us the key debates and discourses. It is our obligation to translate those discourses into action in the classroom. <coughs> I want to extend a special welcome to all newcomers to Haltasa. We hope that you will find Haltasa a place of belonging, to shape and be shaped in your role as university teachers. At a pre-conference workshop yesterday, the facilitation team connected the workshop very clearly and strongly to the theme of this conference, very well-chosen theme, Pedagogies in Context. They engaged the 27 participants in the space in a journey of understanding how context, not just geographic and location, shapes the pedagogical encounter in our classrooms. Each university, is tied to a historicity and a memory of its own past, which, if uninterrogated in the present, through relevant pedagogies, becomes the blueprint for reproducing power relations, coloniality, gender patterns, hegemony, and other oppressive mechanisms to pacify and domesticate. The time is now for change. In Haltasa, we are indeed trying to unlearn and relearn patterns of social, moral, and epistemic injustices. As my colleague Sia Sabata will tell you in his various contributions, and someone whom I started a PhD journey here at Rhodes in 2011, that we need to re re-examine the role of theory in our actions. He will tell you that theory can become empty. Mm. 
if it is not connected mm -hmm. to the social realities we face. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Theory must give us explanatory power. But if it is blind to race, class, gender, and social issues as we sit here, mm -hmm. constituted as a representation of the new South Africa and beyond, if theory can't help us solve those problems, theory is useless. I have no doubt that our keynote speakers this week, Professor Bauer, Professor Cecilia Jacobs, and Professor Mart, will indeed set the key notes for us to deliberate and to think about. Professor Bauer comes with a rich history and experience of working in the sector, many years of challenging contexts. Professor Jacobs has a rich history in academic development and has contributed deeply to extending and, and helping us rethink what literacy practices mean in the classroom. And Professor Mart is a decolonial scholar, will help us to unpack the very discourses that the VC signal for us. We look forward to your contributions and to helping help TASA think about its own role as we move into the future. As an organization and picking up the baton from the past held TASA president, Dr. Mandy Tlengwa, we continue to shape and extend the reach of Haltasa. We don't always get it right, but we are learning all the time. This is not a performance. Mm. This is not a prize-giving mm. action. The time for all of us is now. We can no longer be silent and passive and compliant and obedient. We mm. need to awaken mm. what it means to be an academic mm. and a university teacher mm. in an African higher education. Wow. Mm. Who are we? How do we show up? to talk on this task of recentering and remembering who we are, where we come from, and what we believe, and to take this into our classrooms in authentic and honest ways. The time is now for you to become involved in Haltasa, to contribute, find your voice, shape the journey. You can start this week by engaging in a few Haltasa specific <coughs> events. The first one takes place this afternoon, which is recognition of the Haltasa Teaching Excellence Award winners. Mm -hmm. Please join us in a plenary session from 4 o'clock to 6 o'clock to think about what excellence means in an African higher education system. Tomorrow morning, we have a new Format, if you like. It's a breakfast dialogue. Oh. And here the special interest groups come together to talk about teaching communities. We are at a time when we are rethinking whether SIGs should be constituted as writing centers and tutors, uh, tutor SIGs, etc. And we're thinking about what are the moves and the impulses that we need to listen to and respond to in terms of thinking more broadly about what special interests are really about. Tomorrow there is a critical dialogue facilitated by our Heltasa colleagues, Keshri Padiachi and Vanessa Merkel, on the DHEADS framework for enhancing um, teaching. Enhancing? Yes. Academics as university teachers, thank you. Do come to the AGM on Thursday to get to know us better. Follow our activities, understand the goals, understand the challenges, um, and see how you can take part. Follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter guru is Bradley Ring on the Heltasa exec. And he believes that it's important to get the word out, that that is another mode of bringing people together and communicating the message.
I want to close by remembering an old maxim from the 80s, from the freedom struggles. The struggle against apartheid and for fair education for all. And to all those people who came before us, who have paved the way for us, each one, teach one. Thank you. Mm.